Sunglasses are on, so you know this one's coming at you fast. We have a special edition of the Fantasy Factory. We have, that is right, stocks. We have stocks. It is a buy and sell situation going into week two of the NFL season. So, for fantasy purposes, we have our sell high candidates. We got three guys. Three guys that I'm telling you, you should be selling these penny stocks to any of the suckers who will buy them off of you to improve your roster. And we're going to start out with one that is definitely going to be controversial. I feel it in my bones that it's going to be controversial. That's Nick Chubb. I have Nick Chubb as a sell high kind of guy. And the reason is because, yes, even though he had a great day in Carolina, that offense concerns the hell out of me. I am very worried about the long term of the season for Nick Chubb. He has been a workhorse for that franchise for oh so long. He, even though he had a great day against the Carolina Panthers defense that, let's all admit, is pretty sus anyway. I'm worried. I'm concerned. And for that, I would sell him high. You could get an absolute boatload for this dude. And I really have fears that by midway through the season, as that offense continues to struggle, that you're going to see Nick Chubb putting out days like this again. This is a sell high candidate for me. The next is going to be his Backfield partner, yes, Cleveland Browns in general, just sell them, sell them all. And part of that is because Kareem Hunt had situationally a great day. He had 21 fantasy points because he scored two touchdowns against the Carolina Panthers defense. Like I have already said, Nick Chubb dashed him, but out of the two, I trust Nick Chubb to be more consistent than Kareem Hunt does. I don't like how this Browns offense is, is looking so far. Jacoby Brissett, I don't trust that he's going to be able to utilize Kareem Hunt's best abilities, especially when he's running those wheel and flag routes out of the backfield. I just, this is a sell high candidate as well. And for this guy, I definitely can see you filling in a positional need, like a tight end starter, QB starter, or a wide receiver two flex kind of role. For that, I would trade and sell high on Kareem Hunt as well.